Hello there. there. I'm Aubrey. I'm Vanessa. I'm Travis. And we're late to the party. And Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are back together. Because you can't have slaughter without a little laughter. This one came out of nowhere. I didn't even realize that Simon Pegg and Nick Frost were doing another movie together. But they tend to do that every once in a while. They pop in and uh -huh. out of each other. They, they leave for a little bit and then they come back and you're like, you know what? We need to uh, tell the the we're still to get we're still friends. Yeah, <laughs> we got to show the world that it's a little bit better off with a little frost and peg. Yes. I'm excited. They do great movies together. Paul. Paul! I forgot uh, about Paul's Paul so until good, you said yeah. that. Yeah. Because I was going to say, oh, they're going off to make another movie, but they're not going to have Edgar Wright at the helm. And they didn't have Paul with Edgar Wright. So, mm -hmm. yeah, let's see what they have in store for us for Slaughterhouse, Slaughterhouse. Rules. Did you get my note about the no-go areas? Um, I cannot have people wandering about in the middle of the night. These things always end up in a bloody mess. <laughs> Literally. Welcome all to Slaughterhouse. This is the school pecking order. At the top, you have to bat. In the middle, cleansing your eyes. Watch where you're looking. And then down at the bottom, wood. Who's wood? That's wood. Hello. Hello. I'm afraid Mr. Prig will be unable to teach today or ever again. He died here. Alone. Anyway, <laughs> there's something in the woods. What the devil? That hole is a gateway. Yeah. And it leads straight down to hell. <laughs> now, who wants to buy some drugs? <laughs> we just ate half the upper seat. Now we can blow shit up. Language with me. <laughs> Children! everyone. <laughs> Stop worrying. What are they going to do? Eat you alive. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. So that makes me wonder too if Nick Frost is even going to really be in it a whole lot because it seems like it's more Michael Sheen and Simon Pegg right off the bat. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know, I feel like the, even though they didn't show him a whole lot in the movie, I still feel like he'll probably be a uh, part of it. Even though, uh, like, this is what I think he's kind of the character that's like the one that has all the drugs and everything. So he's the one that like has these crazy ideas of what needs to happen and then everyone just kind of pushes him aside because he's like, oh, he's on drugs, he doesn't know what he's talking about, and then they end up having to Like, he's the savior at the yeah, end. Exactly, yeah. It kind of gives me that feel like his character from Attack the Block needs Hagrid, and he's <laughs> yeah. living in the forest, yes. but he's all strung out, and he has where he knows where the gate to hell is. Uh, also kind of gave me a feel of, like, Cooties, there with okay. Rain Wilson, and uh, it was directed by, I think it was directed by Lay one l Lay one ls in it. But, yeah, it, it has that Cooties feel. But I feel like, again, it's going to focus more around the kids. I see Aja Butterfield in there. Um, but they're going to be the ones that are kind of leading the charge against it. But because we all know Pig and Frost and Sheen, those are the ones that are kind of putting at the forefront of whatever the hell's going on at this school. Right. I It's going to be amazing. I mean, I like Sheen, Frost, and Pig. And I think, yeah, like you said, they may not be the primary characters, but they're going to be the characters that drive the movie along and keep right. it going, keep it entertaining. And then seeing those little quick cuts there, yeah, too, a little bit. It'll, 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 reminiscent. It'll yeah. be very classic, kind of silly, right? but not too over-the-top slapsticky. And that's like, the thing is they, those guys are just really clever when it comes to their style of comedy as well, mm -hmm. as was Edgar Wright putting them together. It was a hell of a, a trio, um, but now you still have that witty comedy, so you're going to get it in the dialogue in this movie, too. Even though like it has Simon Pegg and then it has Nick Frost and Michael Sheen, and it, it looks like it could be like a fun movie, I'm actually... Eh. Like, okay. Really? Yeah, I'm uh, watching this movie, or uh, watching the trailer, I'm just kind of like, okay. Okay. You know right. what I mean? Like it looks, it does look like it could be a lot of fun, but I don't. I just don't have excitement for it right now. It also feels I probably like, still watch it because right. of Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, but I don't know if it's one of those that I have to like go see right away, like I did when like Hot Fuzz came out, right? And 
um, the the world's end. So. Yeah. Well, we shall see when we see more from Slaughterhouse Rules. So thank you guys for watching our reaction and review to the trailer for Slaughterhouse Rules. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. Do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking. Jin joins, you know where they are. Kicking the party, fool the party, keep the party going, get a Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. Also get to early episodes of Better Late Than Never where we got Travis uh, on loan yes, for. Yes, please watch those. Let them know what we have coming up for the next series of Better Late Than Never. Oh, kids sports movies. Be there for that. So thank you guys. Thank you, Travis, thank for joining you. us. Check out our merch on Spreadshirt. You can find a link in the description below or in the comments of this video. Thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party, it's over. It's over.